All right. Hello, everyone. I want to do a quick math problem. It's a, one I've seen on Facebook. Uh, it's a simple test of the order of operations convention. 10 minus 10 times 10 plus 10 equals what? Uh, and I've got a lot of videos here that go through the order of operations, and so I'll post some links to those. Um, but uh, we'll go through this one pretty quick. So the order of operations convention applies. If you don't remember, don't know what that is, um, something that's taught in primary school, if you're in the UK or elementary school in the United States, uh, it's something that's been taught for forever, basically. Um, and uh, it's, multiplication has precedence over addition and subtraction. Remember, multiplication is just repeated addition. Um, so uh, it's kind of like a shorthand, you can think of it that way. So you need to solve multiplication before solving addition and subtraction. Um, it's not like reading a sentence where you just go left to right and ignore um, what the operations are. So we'll go through this. 10 minus 10 times 10 plus 10 equals what? Well, first of all, we do the multiplication. 10 times 10 is 100. Uh, now, some people get really confused here. Remember, you have a minus sign in front of that 10 times 10. So you're ending up with negative 100 or you're subtracting 100. Think of it either way. It doesn't, doesn't matter. So it's 10 minus 100 plus 10. Um, and people will get a little confused even at this point. But 10 minus 100 you can see is minus 90. It's not positive 90. If you have $10 and somebody says you owe 100, uh, well, you owe not, you have $90 in the hole that you still owe. So minus 90 plus 10 is negative 80. And that is your answer. So um, yeah, I hope that has been helpful. And again, I will post links um, to the order of operations um, in the uh, description. Um, if you find this problem confusing. Thank you.